Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these baby booties. If you're following me, you'd know that I haven't been active for so long and this is a very old project which I've finally got time to finish. So let's get started. So here I've got two different sizes. This is 0 to 3 and this one is 3 to 6. In this video, I'm only going to show you the top part of the 0 to 3 because the sole is done in another video and I'm going to link that video in the description box below. So let's get started. For this project, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook and DK size yarn. And I've got here my two soles. This one is 0 to 3 months and this is 3 to 6. So you can follow whichever you want. And I'll be starting with the 0 to 3. You'll find the link in the description box below. You'll have to follow that one and do your sole first. And then I'm going to continue in here. So here I've got my sole for 0 to 3 months. And this is the last bit where you need to slip stitch to finish the third round. So I'm going to slip stitch and chain one. Cut the yarn and secure it. So that's it. And I'm going to put a stitch marker into that last one. And now I'm going to join new yarn. And I'm going to skip one stitch and go into the next one. So skip the next and join into the next one. Using only the back loop. So you've got two loops. One and two. Use the furthest from you. And join the new yarn. Make a slip knot, grab that and do chain 2, 1 and 2 and this chain 2 counts as the first half double crochet. I'm going to put a stitch marker onto that one as well. And now I'm going to make one half double crochet into each and I'm going to work in work this one in so later on I don't have to weave ends and now yarn over and go into the next and work your half double crochet so you're gonna have a total of 47 half double crochet including this one would be 48 so total of 48 I'm in my last two stitches so this is where I put the stitch marker on so do your last two half double crochet and now it's time to slip stitch to the chain two so I'm going to take the stitch marker off and go into the chain 2 and slip stitch. So round number 1 is done. Now the second round is going to be a round of single crochet. So I'm going to chain 1 and this chain 1 doesn't count as a stitch. So I'm going to go into the same one and do a single crochet. Put the stitch marker back into the first single crochet and I'm going to do 11 more single crochet so total of 12 one is done now you have to use both the loops so this time I'm going into both loops and do the single crochet so this is my second one and continue until 12 So I've done 12 single crochet and I'm going to put a stitch marker into that 12th one. And now it's going to be a decrease round from here on. So I'm going to do half double crochet into the next. So yarn over and go into the next one. Do a half double crochet. And now into the next two. I'm going to do half double crochet two together. So yarn over, go into the next and pull up a loop. So you've got three loops, 
3 again yarn over go into the next and pull another loop so you have total of 5 and yarn over go through all these 5 so I've got half double crochet 2 together so I've done a half double crochet and then 2 together so I'm, go I'm gonna repeat this for another 3 times so yarn over going to the next and half double crochet and then half double crochet 2 together and now again another time and one more time So that's a total of four times so this is the single crochet and then I've done half double two together half double two together half double two together and half double two together so total of four times and now I'm going to do again another four times but in reverse so I'm going to start with two together and then half double crochet then two together and then half double crochet and repeat that total of four times so yarn over going to the next pull up a loop yarn over going to the next pull up loop and you've got five loops go through all five and then yarn over going to the next and do a half double crochet and I'm gonna repeat another three times like this so the last one is going to be a half double crochet and then you're gonna be left with 12 stitches where you're gonna do 12 single crochet so exactly the same as the other side so I'm going to start with the single crochet so this is the first one I'm going to put a stitch marker into that one and continue so I've got one two three four so now it's time to slip stitch take the stitch marker off into the first single crochet I'm gonna slip stitch and that's the round two finished for the round three chain one again this doesn't count as a stitch so go into the same one and do a single crochet and place that again and now I'm gonna do up to the stitch marker so there's going to be 12 single crochet so one done two after 12 single crochet I put the stitch marker back into the 12th one and now I'm gonna do again the decrease first I'm gonna start with a half double crochet and then I'm gonna do half double crochet two together and then one double crochet and then double crochet two together so yarn over going to the next pull up a loop so I'm gonna have three loops so yarn over and go through the first two so you're going to have two loops and now yarn over and go into the next and pull up a loop. So you're going to have four loops. So yarn over, go through first two loops. I'm going to have three loops and yarn over, go through all three. So this is a double crochet two together. And now I'm going to do double crochet, sorry, triple crochet two together. So triple crochet is yarn over twice like this and go into the next and pull up a loop so you're gonna have four loops so yarn over go through first two and then again yarn over go through first two so you're gonna have two loops you're gonna keep these two yarn over twice and go into the next and pull up a loop and you're gonna have total of five loops so you have to go through first two 
and then again go through first two so once you have these three loops yarn over and go through all three and I'm gonna repeat this two more times so total of three so once it's done yarn over twice go into the next pull up a loop go through first two go through first two and then yarn over twice go into the next and go through first two go through first two and go through all three so that's done and I'm gonna do again another time and now I'm gonna do the same thing as the other side in reverse so yarn over and go into the next pull up a loop and then go through first two then yarn over again go into the next pull up a loop go through first two and then go through all three so this is a double crochet two together and now double crochet into the next and then I'm gonna do half double crochet two together so you can see the second one is actually the stitch marker one so I'm gonna take the stitch marker off so yarn over and go into the next pull up a loop yarn over and go into the next pull up a loop and go through all five loops and now I'm gonna do a half double crochet into the next and that's done and you should have 10 stitches left and this 10 is going to be single crochet into each so single crochet and I'm gonna put the stitch marker back to finish the round slip stitch to the first single crochet and for the fourth round I'm gonna do the same thing chain one single crochet 12 starting from the first one and put the stitch marker back so one two so after 12 single crochet again the decrease I'm going to do half double crochet and then half double crochet two together and then I'm going to do double crochet and double crochet two together and I'm going to repeat this in reverse again so two double crochet two together then a double crochet half double crochet two together and then a half double crochet and you're gonna end up having nine stitches so there's going to be nine single crochet and to finish this fourth round slip stitch to the first single crochet and after this fourth round you're gonna have a total of 29 stitches now to finish it off, chain one and cut the yarn, pull and pull it tight, that's it. So it's done. You'll have to make two of these and now I'm going to move into the next part. So I've already made the left one, now I'm going to show you how to do the right one and also guide you through the left one so as you can see this is the this is where i've ended the work and now i'm gonna start for the right one which is this one so i'm gonna start from you can see the stitch marker in here i'm gonna start from the next one so this one and work all the way through up to this stitch marker so i'm gonna exclude the stitch marker so if you count there should be 10 stitches here and 19 stitches on this side so this is the 19 where I'm gonna work and in this one I'm working from this side from here for the left one I'm starting from the left side for the right one I'm starting from the right side and there's also another difference which is when you working for the left one you have to join from the inner side so you have to face it like this and join from here whereas for the right one 
I'm going to join from the outer side, which means from here, from this side. And by keeping this two stitch marker, you can see it's really easy to understand where I'm going to work. Otherwise, you'll have to count from the slip stitch position, which, which is here. So it's going to be 11 from this position. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, sorry. It's going to be 10 for the left one. And then another 11. So total of 21. In the 21th you're going to join. So if you count from this position. So it's really easy if you keep this two stitch marker. And now I'll be starting by joining into this position in here so the stitch marker is into this one I'm going to work into that one so insert it from the outer side for the right one and then the pattern is same so whatever I'm going to do into the right you have to do on the left but it's just where you're joining makes the difference so let's start so make a slip knot insert the hook and grab the yarn pull and do a chain one this chain one doesn't count as a stitch so I'm going to go into the same stitch and do a single crochet and put a stitch marker on top of that and now I'm going to do single crochet into the next 18 so counting the first one it's going to be total of 19 so I've already done one two after the 19th single crochet, I'm going to do 10 chains. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And I'm going to skip the first chain, go into the second one, use the back small loop of the second chain, and do single crochet. And now into the next eight chains, I'm going to do one single crochet into each. So total nine. So one already done. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Now I'm back to the 19 single crochet so after that do your 19 single crochet so go into two three so now I'm into the last one the 19 And that's it now for the so there's already been two rounds since I started now the third one chain one and do again 19 single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. after the 19 single crochet you should have nine more stitches so I'm gonna do one single crochet into each After this nine single crochet, now I'm gonna finish the work with five chains. So make one, two, three, four, and five. And I'm gonna slip stitch here where I started the work. So go into the side of the stitch. So this one, the bottom actually, and slip stitch. That's it. 
now go into the next one as well and do another slip stitch to make it even more secure and that's it now you can chain one and cut the yarn so if you want a bigger hole you can make it bigger so increase the chain number and that's it so I'm gonna chain one and cut the yarn and pull tight mm, so that's it now I can take the stitch marker off and wave all the ends and that's once you finish waving the ends you need to add the flower and the button if you want to check out the flower tutorial I'm gonna link it in the description box below so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you